All right, welcome back to a brand new video. Hold on, stick your fingers in the air. I'm going to do the same thing too. Hey, see, they don't stop. <laughs> I can tell you, as soon as they see me, synchronize. Synchronize movement. Anyhow, um, I would, you know, every, whenever I listen to uh, great scholars, uh, great researchers, uh, great anthropologists, archaeologists, uh, scientists, you know, I, as I said, scientists hear yeah, the sirens. Again, I want you to understand how when certain things are being said, they will use the sirens. For example, um, anything has to do with black, uh, black people being involved in the sciences, in financial institutions, you know, talking about more so now than ever, they start using the sirens. It just tells me that they are specific they are targeting certain people black people who are who are interested in you know getting into certain fields or in certain fields and in order to control them this is how they steal our ideas right you know and I, and I try not to I try to stay from using certain words that I see other uh, <laughs> people use when speaking against, uh, when speaking about, not again, but speaking about a certain group of people using certain words that show their behavior, right? Because again, this is our ancient, ancient ancestors, you know, we, when they created the Netas or the Netarus, which the Europeans later called gods, they were not really gods because they, never, they were never worshipped as gods, right? But they showed our ancestors used certain elements, certain animals to show a relationship, a comparison, right? Or, 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 or an alternative, an opposite. And they never worshipped them as gods. They were representation of certain aspects of human beings, who we are. Uh, nature, what nature is, right? The animals, certain attributes of animals. As an example, talk about cats and dogs, right? I mean, yes, back, we use it all the time, right? A real call, you know, like, for example, a woman will call a man a dog, right? <laughs> because particularly if, if, if he's, you know, uh, having sex with multiple yeah, women, they'll say, "Well, you a dog, right?" Because we see why. Why? Because right? we see a dog, a male dog. He will move from one female dog to another female dog, and uh, have sex with that dog. Those female dogs, right? Okay. So, this is how they use those figures as a representation of the divine nature of aspects of nature, whether it be human nature, animal nature, nature as itself, the trees, right? The tree of life. So why is the tree of life, right? Any Christians, can you answer that? Or the tree of knowledge, why is it it's the tree of knowledge? Okay, the tree of life, let's talk about the tree of life. Our answers, when they talk about the tree of life, they didn't talk about some tree with some fruit on it, right? They talk about the trees in general, plants, vegetation. Why? Because we know trees do what? They take in carbon dioxide and they breathe out what? Oxygen. Without trees, you have no life, right? But without the sun also, because the sun do what? With its rays, do what nourishes the trees the earth and do what right and then and 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 they do what right so when they talk about these things this is what I'm talking about they they create attributes of human nature right so for, for them spirituality and again the word spirit means to breed or air, oxygen. Right? That's part of the definition, the original definition of spirituality. 
But spiritual, because again, spirituality as a whole is unseen science, and science is seen spirituality as per uh, uh, a higher uh, Kaaba. I forgot. You know, he has, he has such a, a, you know, his name is not easy to pronounce. Higher Kaaba. Uh, anyway, uh, I got to, I got to stop pronouncing his name properly. I can't be disrespecting the elder like that. Right? But his book that he wrote, brilliant book, and I haven't even finished reading it. Right? So, as he, as, as he said, our African ancestors saw and, 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 and called spirituality unseen science and called science seen spirituality because they studied nature, right? They developed math, science, astrology, right? That came out from our people. And we are people, we are dead in the mind, right? We are dead in the mind and we have a backwards thinking of what spirituality really is because our spirituality is based on European concept and no matter even if they try to incorporate African spirituality which again today's modern day African spirituality within the past uh, from since Africa has been colonized it has all been Europeanized so what they're doing is fusing European religious belief with certain aspects of African uh, spiritual system and they leave the science out of it but you cannot leave in the African system spiritual system you cannot leave science out of it because that is what it is spirituality is science knowledge and applying that knowledge to better your life to create things to be creative be productive right it's a saying nothing new under the sun basically what we are what our ancestors are doing is the same thing that we're doing today. We live in modern times, modern buildings, you know, different sort of vehicles to transport. Right? But they have taken our spiritual system and used it for their advantage while giving us their religion, which deadened our minds. Right? So watching uh, Bobby Hemet, and he was talking about the uh, Babylonian book, uh, myth of uh, myth of <laughs> myth of uh, I think it, the, the myth of of of, of, of uh, Sumeria, right? And he talks about the goddess Ishtar. And there's one thing that he said that struck me, and I was like. He was reading from it, and I ended up going to get the book. Because he said you can get it online, the PDF version of it. And in that, she goes down to the underworld. She knocks on the door, you know, say, let me in, let me in, because she's looking for, in search of her husband. Right? And the earlier version of the stories of that is uh, a set, right? In which her husband, uh, Asa, was killed by his brother, um, Seth, his body dismembered. And she had to leave to find his, his body parts and put them back together. But the interesting thing about this is that we used to begin to understand where Hollywood and how those in, in power, how they have these knowledge way before us. You know, that they've been had these knowledge and they, thank goodness for the internet because now on the internet we have a lot of the knowledge that they hid from us. And in there she talks, she says, open, open the door. If you do not open the door, I will rise the dead and the dead shall eat the living because they are more dead they are, they, are those, they are more of those that are dead than those that are living right so when I say this what's the first thing that comes to your mind when we see in the movies right which what do they call dead people that rise and eat the living the zombies right now think of it like this also is that we are a dead people in terms of our mind right particularly black people we are a dead people because of our mind we our mind have been laid to rest okay we are non-critical not non uh, uh non-critical thinking we are believers so 
Yes, we are living, we're breathing, but our mind is dead because we are a dead people, right? And again, not all of us, right? But the vast majority of us, because we are not building anything as black people, as African people. We are not building anything. We are not the leaders in any field of technology, science, medicine. We work for those who are the leaders in those fields and they benefit from our mind. Those of us, you know, the very few of us, right? But when you begin to understand your history, when you begin to leave this European religious concept, give them back to, the, to their oppressor, and you take up the African spiritual concept, which again is science, is dealing with science, math, astrology, right? Your mind becomes alive. You begin to think, you begin to build, you begin to, to do things that's gonna benefit not yourself, but your people, right? So I look at that as a metaphor to say as black people, we are, we are dead in the mind. We are spiritually corrupt because we are practic practicing a spirituality that Europeans have given us. Right? Because if you truly understand African spirituality, like uh, 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 Professor Havakava said, spirituality is unseen science, and science is seen spirituality, meaning that we use our spirituality to create things that benefit us and each other. But our spirituality today is like, well, I have, I have a spiritual connection with God. You don't have a spiritual connection with God because that God that you say you worship, that God, that word God, was never in existence in those times. When we read these stories, uh, even though they, you know, they, they have translated these um, you know these these myths okay they they replace the word that is supposed to be with God and that God is a European construct of who God is you understand that God is a European construct and that God is outside of you where African spirituality the netter the nature the, the who you are as a human being you are the, I'm gonna use the European word here, you are the God. But in, in reality, you are the netter, right? Because African spirituality, creative divine powers, the male and the female, duality, not one. European is about mono one, right? The masculine cannot create the feminine, but the feminine can create the feminine and the masculine. This is a concept that we, it's not even a concept, it's fact. It's fact, okay? It's fact, <laughs> you know? God didn't, God didn't take no rip from man and create a woman. You gotta understand God was human. Right? And God was a woman first before she ever gave birth to another God which is the man also, all right? Anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.